Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw these gears. Let's make a new document, go to File, New and set the profile to Web. Click OK. Press Ctrl and R buttons to show the ruler. Let's change the straw color to None and the fill color to Black. Select the Rectangle tool, click on this intersection and draw a big rectangle to cover the whole artboard. This will be our background. Now let's lock this layer and make a new layer. Click on the Create New Layer icon. Next, select the Artboard tool and click on the Show Center mark from the top. Now select the Star tool. Let's change the fill color to white. Click in the center and drag to draw a star. While holding the mouse, press the up arrow on your keyboard to increase the number of points on the star. Let's press it five times. Finally, drag to make the star a little bigger and then release the mouse. Next, press the letter L for the ellipse tool. Click in the center and holding the Shift and Alt keys on your keyboard, draw a circle. Select all and let's unite these two shapes together. Go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. Next, we'll draw one more circle. Let's make it a little bigger. Select everything again, go to Pathfinder, but this time select Intersect. Next, we'll round the corners. Let's zoom in. Go to Effect, Stylize and choose Round Corners. Check the preview box and change the radius to 3 pixels. And click OK. Next we'll cut a hole in the middle. Select the ellipse tool again, click in the center and draw a circle. Select everything, go to Pathfinder and select minus front. And here is our first gear. Let's move it up. Now we'll draw a second gear using a different method. Let's select the ellipse tool again, click in the center and draw a circle. Now we'll add teeth. Select the rectangle tool and draw a small rectangle. Let's zoom in. Go to the free transform tool and choose perspective distort. Click on the top anchor point and drag the mouse towards the center. Click on the bottom anchor point and drag the mouse out. Next, Click on the top ruler, hold and drag to bring a guideline. Now select the Convert Anchor Point tool. Click on this anchor point and while holding the Shift key, drag the mouse up to the guideline. Next, click on this handle to delete it. Select the Rectangle tool, click on the center guideline and draw a rectangle. Now select both shapes, go to Pathfinder and choose Minus Front. Next we'll reflect and copy this part. Press the letter O for the Reflect tool 
press and hold the ALT key and click on this anchor point to set the reflection point. Choose the vertical axis and click copy. Now let's unite these two parts, select both, go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. Let's hide the guideline and let's move this part to the top of our circle. Next we will make 19 additional copies. Press the letter R for the Rotate tool, then press and hold the ALT key and click in the center to set the rotation point. Type 360 over 20 for the angle and click Copy. Next, while holding the CTRL key, press the letter D 18 times. Select all. Go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. Press the letter L for the ellipse tool, draw a circle Select both shapes, go to Pathfinder and choose minus front. And finally, let's add a gradient to it. Select everything, open the Swatches panel and click on the Swatch Libraries menu icon. Choose the gradients, metals, and select Stainless Steel. Let's hide the center mark, go to the Artboard tool and deselect the Show Center Mark from the top. Thanks for watching, bye bye!